clear and equal. Clear, meaning I hear that air go in and out without any crackles, rails, strider, wheezes. I don't want any popping. I don't want any whistling. That air should just be passing in through open airways and not making any extra noise. When it makes extra noise, that's called an adventitious sound. And that's what you see listed here. Crackles, which can be rails or ronchi, strider or wheezes. So that's what these sounds are, and it's really what you're listening for. If we have wheezes, that's when our airways get small. They're constricted or narrowed for some reason, so as the air passes through, it makes a high-pitched whistling noise. This can happen in asthma or COPD, and it sounds like this. Next, we have something called strider. This is also kind of a whistling sound, but it's higher pitched. It's all in the upper airway, and it happens when there is a blockage of airflow in the trachea. So edema, croup, foreign body, or the infamous epiglottitis. Here is what it sounds like. <laughs> Then we've got the crackles. Now, these can be ronchi when they're coarse. They can be called rails when they're fine. But basically, this is the crackling, rattling, popping that happens when air is moving through some sort of secretion. So it's not the narrowing that we get with wheezes and strider. It is the crackling that we get when there are secretions. So think pneumonia, pulmonary edema, bronchitis. Here's what you're gonna hear. If this lecture was helpful for you, we've got plenty more where that came from. Head over to archerreview.com and subscribe to one of our many affordable packages to study for nursing school, the NCLEX, and beyond. We'll see you there, future nurses.